Don't forget, we're supposed to check the emergency phones. I know. Although when you say we, you really mean me. The guys at the station never hear anything from you. I'm sure they'd just love to hear your voice for a change. That, of course, is your overriding motivation. Not because you just want to sit in the car. And don't I always get out with you? Actually, I always wondered why you did that. Considering that when you do, you just stand there and do nothing. Nonsense. I like to keep an eye on you. Calling all units. There's been a serious accident on the A16 near Kreuzleibhausen. Three cars are wedged together. Ambulance is on its way. Who is taking over? Foxtrot 1. It's not far from us. We'll head there. Understood, Foxtrot 1. Roger, we're almost there. Get out of the way. We need to work here. Whoa, just like on TV. Stop filming us, please. Hey, there's no law against it. Obstructing the ambulance service and making videos? Those are my favorites. What do you want from me? I must ask you to leave the scene. Who do you think you are, eh? You are aware that I can impose fines for this? Why don't you help the people instead of framing me for something here? If it weren't for you, I could help the victims. I'm just standing here. As long as you interfere with the emergency services, no one can work properly here. I'm going!
Describe the situation. We have seen to most of the people involved. Fortunately, there are only light injuries. However, the driver is still trapped. The fire brigade will see to him at once. Thank you for the update. We'd better get back to work then. First thing, get rid of those gawkers. They have no business hanging around here. Too right. We'll take care. Am I glad I wasn't in one of those cars? I'm sure you are. However, that makes it all the more important that you let us do our job. The fewer people standing around, the quicker we can help the victims. You're right. I better go. I'm sure I can get an even better shot of... Oh, can I help you? You would actually help by leaving the scene now. By the way, it is forbidden to take pictures of this. You can be given a hefty fine. No, no, that's not necessary. I'm going. Hello, Miss Bomb. How are you? Everything is okay. I don't think I'm hurt. Glad to hear that. Your car is the one at the back? Can I ask you a few questions about the accident? Of course. What can you tell me about how the accident occurred? There was a crash. Then the vehicle in front of me suddenly slowed down. And, and I couldn't brake in time. That's when I crashed into it. That must have been quite a surprise for you. You are lucky that you were not hurt. Yes, it is. But the other driver, he's still trapped. The fire brigade is already taking care of him. Did you notice anything else? Did any of the other drivers behave in any way conspicuously? I'm sorry, but that's all I know. I hope I've been able to help you at least a little bit. Thank you for your statement. Miss Medska, excuse me, could I talk to you? I... I suppose so. Take a deep breath first. You must be very worried. Yes, about my boyfriend. He was driving, and he's still stuck there in the car. I hope the fire brigade will get him out soon. The emergency services know what they are doing. Do not worry about it. That's easy for you to say. Please, let me go to him. You can go to him as soon as he's in the ambulance. It won't be long now. But in the meantime, maybe you can give us some more information. All right. We were actually on our way to his friend's house, but we were having a row about some... nonsense. This was nothing. It might have distracted him, and then... Then he didn't notice how close he had already been to the vehicle in front? It could be. I wasn't paying attention myself. C can I see him now? I... I want to tell him. I'm sorry. Yes. Go to him now. Thank you for the information. Not bad. Maybe I can learn something from you after all. Good afternoon, Mr. Schwab. Are you all right? All right would be an exaggeration, but it'll be fine. Then I'll ask you a few questions. Go ahead. We're not getting out of here that fast anyway. Please tell me what happened from your point of view. How did the accident happen? It was very strange. A car was driving closer and closer to me. I thought he was going to overtake, but he just kept getting closer. Did you brake suddenly? Is that why the car behind you rear-ended you? No, the road was completely clear, so I was driving at 130 on cruise control, which is about as smooth as it gets. Smooth, yes. But even with that, you must not lose concentration. I'll keep it in mind. Thank you for the information, Mr. Schwab. Hello? Are you... What? What? Ah! Everything hurts. What is your name? Try not to move at all. My name's Sebastian. What happened? Wait, Daniela. Where is she? Is she okay? Oh God, I'm so sorry. Stay calm, Sebastian. Your girlfriend is doing all right. An ambulance is about to arrive, and the fire brigade will then get you out of your car immediately. Oh, okay.
Thank you very much for your help. No problem. After all, it's part of our job. If it was up to me, I would have fined them all straight away. We can't work like that. They certainly would have deserved it. But what's more important is that people will learn from it. I think our spectators have understood that too. Hopefully. Calling all cars. A van is suspected of carrying smuggled goods. It is said to be at a service area on the A50 at the moment. Who can... Good day to you. Good afternoon. What can I do for you? I've stopped you for a check. I would like to see your driving license and vehicle registration. There are name discrepancies in the documents. That's because it's a company vehicle. We will check your credentials. Please, wait a moment. The check didn't reveal any irregularities. We are done here. I will check your vehicle and the boot. Please wait a moment. I'm back. We are almost done here. Do you agree to a breathalyzer test? Of course. No problem. Not 0.0%. Very good. The check is concluded. 
Have a good trip. Wait a second. The boss wants to talk to you personally about something important. He wants you to come to his office. Oh, no. My time's up, is it? I'm for the chop. Well, you better hurry up and keep this to yourself. Hey, what's up? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who don't help in an accident, but just gawk stupidly. I couldn't agree more. But hey, calm down, will you? It's not going to do anyone any good if you run around the station yelling your head off. Besides, at worst, the others might still think that Stefan had done something wrong again. Why me and not you? Because you two don't get along very well? Well... I hope we're in full agreement about the Gawkers. Absolutely. People who hinder the emergency services, who film accident victims and then even post the pictures on the net. People like that make me want to throw up. Wow. That's a first, isn't it? You two in total agreement? Hey, hands off. Don't ruin it now. Exactly. So, shh. Ah, there you are. I really need to talk to you. Is it about the deal? This won't happen again, I promise. No, it's about something. Whatever it was, Stefan is as much to blame as I am. His gut feeling last time was pure luck. Please don't fire me. Now, listen to me, will you? No one is getting fired here. It's about something completely different. Oh, um, what's it about then? I've decided that Berninger will finally get his long-awaited promotion. And it should be celebrated. Do you have some time right now? So that's why I wasn't supposed to say anything. At last, it's his turn. How can I help? We've sorted pretty well everything. Now all we need are some snacks and drinks. Then everything should be taken care of. How am I supposed to do that with Stefan around all the time? That's the point. Someone needs to keep him out of the meeting room for a while. With you, he won't suspect anything right away. Okay, I'll distract him and buy everything for the party. Stefan at a party. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Why did you go to the boss's office alone? Did he want something important from you? Oh, it was just about a detail in the last case. The boss had a few questions about it, but it was nothing earth-shattering. All right, then. What do you say we get out of here and buy some donuts? 
I could really use some after all the stress. Yeah, sure, why not? 